Northern Uganda has over half of Uganda's arable land and receives abundant rainfall, presenting a potential for agriculture. The region is already a major supplier of cassava, simsim, shea butter, soya bean, and fruits. <laughs> But farming is at subsistence level where farmers are unable to fully capitalize the opportunities. This community needs support for tractor because the oxen cannot do much during dry season and the rain is unpredictable. You are running to time with the rain. So the tractor can help us maybe in the preparation of land earlier and then the oxen can support when the rain comes. One of the challenges is the market. Quality of inputs and cost, government must step in. If we do not have the district farm institutes and the narrows of today, you know, rising to the occasion, we are wasting time. While Uganda is a distribution hub for South Sudan and the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo, supplies are often kept in bonded facilities in Kampala, increasing costs due to long distance. The operationalization of the Gulu Logistics Hub is expected to address this challenge of distribution. So it's meant to improve on our exports, mainly those that are grown within the region. It's also one way of reducing costs of doing business instead of people uh, taking cargo to be cleared in Kampala or at Legu within the, around the borders. Now cargo can come directly up to Gulu Logistics Hub, which is the center within the region, northern region. Additionally, the agents for accelerated regional development and stakeholders are seeking to empower small-scale farmers. We have formed quite a number of cooperatives and the we can say that not all of them are 100% doing well. But there are some that we are proud to, to be part of. There are those that are struggling, but we are using that as a learning point. Government has also selected Northern Region to host the 5th Biannual Private Chief Executive Officers Literate, scheduled for April in Gulu City. This has begun with a field visit to various sites with the aim of understanding challenges and realistic options for supporting agro-industrialization in northern Uganda. Northern Uganda is ready for world-class commercial agriculture because they have land. You've had in the uh, discussion you've had with the farmers. The morning has come. Yet we dig one for the northern region. If you thought you had been forgotten, I want each one of you to walk out here feeling extremely important. <laughs> Knowing that you're going to be ambassadors for Uganda in whatever you're doing. The Presidential Chief Executive Officers Forum advocates for the interests of both private and public sectors in Uganda. This is a forum that was initiated by the President uh, for purposes of bringing together private sector that is the engine growth of the economy, but more so to convene them to always engage with government on key policy initiatives that add value you know, to the national development agenda. Under the patronage of His Excellency, the President of Uganda, Yewer Kaguta Museven, it leverages its distinct abilities to bridge the private and public sectors to achieve the National Development Plan 3 and Vision 2040. Nahoko Rashid Matselele, reporting for UBC TV.